After preparing our project for production, we will purchase a domain name for it. You can purchase a domain name from any provider you prefer, but in this tutorial, I will use Namecheap. If you're building a website or need a domain for your Laravel tutorials or blog projects, Namecheap is a cost-effective option. In the search field, enter your desired domain name to check its availability. For our Laravel 11 blog project, I chose this domain. As you can see, this domain is available, and the price is reasonable. Next, click the Add to Cart button. Then, click Checkout. The subtotal for this domain is $1.16. Click Confirm Order. I selected PayPal as the payment method. Click Continue to proceed with the payment process. Then, click the button to pay with PayPal. After the payment is successfully completed, you will be redirected back to your Namecheap account. As you can see, the domain is now listed under my domain names. For web hosting, I will use Hostinger. If you're looking for hosting services for your Laravel or Codeigniter projects, Hostinger is a great choice due to its performance and developer-friendly features. To add a new website on Hostinger, click on Websites. When you want to add a new website, click the Add Website button. To point our domain name to Hostinger, we need Hostinger's name servers. Go to Google and search for Hostinger name servers. These are the name servers we will use to point the domain name from Namecheap to Hostinger. To use custom name servers on Namecheap, click the Manage button. You will see the Name Servers section. Then, select the Custom DNS option. Enter the name servers provided by Hostinger.
Once done, click the green checkmark icon to save the changes. Note that DNS updates may take up to 48 hours to propagate. Go back to Hostinger and click the Add Website button. Choose the empty PHP slash HTML website option. You can select any additional settings or skip this step. In the input box, enter the same domain name you purchased on Namecheap. Then, select the first option, confirming that you own this domain name. The domain can be used, but we need to connect it manually. Click Next. Hostinger will begin setting up your new website. As I mentioned, pointing a domain name from Namecheap to Hostinger, or any other hosting provider, may take some time due to DNS propagation. Let's wait until our website is ready. It can take up to an hour for the domain name to point to Hostinger. As you can see, we now have the default page provided by Hostinger. This means we are ready to deploy our Laravel 11 blog project to this domain name. Don't miss the next video, where we will deploy our project to the live server.